All right, welcome to the blue channel. <laughs> this one you don't get to see, but I did want to have a conversation while I'm finishing up some work here. And that is, in, in all of my life and everything that I've seen or done, experience, and I still have a lot to experience, I've always tried to learn from other people, right? I've always tried to learn from others, mistakes or not, you know, successes, whatever. Uh, I've always tried to learn from that and better myself. And if nothing else, I'm just entertained by other people's winnings or losings, right, in life. Um, it's like a shit show. Sometimes you just, you just have to sit back and watch and see what happens, right? And, uh, you know, in this life, with everything, everything changing so fastly. I don't think we've ever experienced in a time, at least grow, me growing up, um, so many changes so fast in a short amount of time, right? Ever since the whole unicorn, the zombie apocalypse mandates, the diaper on your face, whatever you want to call it. From that to WW3, it's like, the change is fast, right? And if you blink or you turn away or you go do something and come back and turn the news on, something else has happened or there's been a mutation or whatever. I don't think that we've ever experienced anything like that. And those who have survived, those who have survived this mess will live to tell them a tell to their kids, their grandkids, right? Or great grandkids. I think those that have survived um, only makes them stronger, right? Because once you've been to the shit show, what else is left, right? And every day I see things play out, I just shake my head at it and I'm thinking, man, what a mess, what a mess. But the one thing that I am doing, and you should be doing too, is stay busy, stay active, go for a walk, work on a project, do something. Do your best to be productive. Because you sitting at home on the sofa, behind the desk, whatever, you're not going to change anything. But you can change, right? You can still live your life. People that are not into the preparedness movement, they're living their lives every day. They're going to concerts, they're doing things, they're living, they're going to festivals. They are doing what they love to do. And you should too. I think it's sad to me when we see so many people fall to the wayside or get caught up in this whole SHTF or these arguments, these political arguments back and forth. And they don't realize that their life is passing before them, right? Their time, they will never get back. So I want you to reflect on your life, this moment, look in the mirror, look around you, look at all the preps you have and, and figure out if you're actually going to use them. Was it worth it? What is the next step? What is the next journey? I know some of you are going to say, well, prepping's always worth it. I agree. But to what degree of level of prepping are you doing? Is it consuming you? Is it overtaking you? Is it taking your life away from you living and enjoying what it is you love to do? Because if that's the case, I would reevaluate my prepping. I'm not saying don't prep. Just look around. You might find yourself again. Right out. <laughs> <laughs>